Hey everyone, welcome to React course. In this lecture, we are going to understand how to create method in component class. You are free to use and create any component method for your application. In the previous lectures, we had learned how to create properties in the component class. So we use those properties to initialize component attributes. Now we are going to understand how to create methods in the component class. Because React component is a class, so you can create any type of method in the component. These methods can help you to reuse the component logic. To call this method in JSX, you can use curly braces. As you know, curly braces used to print data of the variable, or you can call any JavaScript code in the curly braces. You can call your method in the render method also, or you can call it manually. Now, let's take an example and let's understand how to create React component method in the JavaScript. Let's take a look at the example and understand how to create method in React component. Right? So, let's get started. So here in this example, I have index.html file. In this file, here I have division tag with the ID container. So whatever I create in the JSX, I will put them in this division tag. This is my script tag and the type of the script is text babel. Now here you can write your pure react code. So I will just select my division tag using the get element by id and store in the container variable. Now just after that here I will just create a component. So to create a component you need to create a component class. So I will just say class logic. So the name of my component is logic and then I will just extend this class to react.component right just after that in this class I will just call render method and in the render method I will just return something so to return multiple statement I will just use parenthesis right now I just wanted to return an anchor tag here so I will just first create a division tag and just close this division and in this division tag I will create an anchor tag with href attribute right and just close this anchor tag and here I will just specify href attribute value so I just wanted to specify dynamic value here so I will just remove this double quote and specify curly braces and say this dot properties dot url right now i just wanted to... so here we just created a property of logic class right so using this statement you can create properties to your class just after that i just wanted to create some text so i will just say here my site right just after that i just wanted to render this anchor tag in the root dom i will just say react dom dot render and on the first argument i will just call the component so i will just say logic here and close this component by forward slash and just close this component just after that i will just call the second argument and say container here so here we have a simple anchor tag before we execute this statement, you need to initialize this URL property. To initialize this URL property, I will just say here URL is equal to and in the double quote, I will say HTTP www.dailywebtuition.com Right? So this property is initialized when we call the logic component. Right? But this is not we wanted to learn. We wanted to learn how to create a method in the component class. To create a method in component class, you need to just create a method here, just like you create in the class. So I will just enter here and here I will just create a method. So I will just say get text and specify parenthesis. And in the curly braces, here you can specify your statements for your method. So this is your simple method. And in this method, I will just specify return statement. So I will just say return. And I just wanted to return a text. So 
so i will just say get from the method right and just close the statement with semicolon now this method is not called yet so i will just call this method here in the text so i will just remove this my side text and say here get text if you call this method directly in the jsx then this statement is not a valid statement in jsx to call this method you need to specify curly braces around it so i will just specify curly braces here and here as i said earlier you can call any javascript code within these curly braces so to call this method you need to specify this curly braces and just say get text method here right if you execute this you will get nothing on the document you just need to specify an object here so i will just specify this dot get text method so now the javascript know that where he wanted to get this method from so the javascript will get this method from this object from this class right so the javascript will just call this get text method and print the text on the document right so i will just save this document and execute it right so you will get your text on the document so i will just go to inspect and just wanted to show you the properties and the text so here is your property here is your href attribute and the and the text goes here so this is your text right it is very simple to create methods in JSX, right? Now, what if you wanted to create a comment in JSX? If you just say here, a single line comment, I will just say double slash and just say here, this is a comment. Then the JSX is not recognize this code because JSX will first transcompile in the JavaScript and then execute the code. If you wanted to create comment in JSX, you need to wrap this comment in the curly braces, right? So to create a multi-line comment in JSX, I will just create curly braces here and just specify forward slash, asterisk, asterisk, forward slash, as you would in JavaScript, right? And just say here, this is multi-line comment right now what if you wanted to create single line comment then you can just do that here also so i'll just say the forward slashes and just say this is a single line comment right well you can do the same thing in the jsx tag also you can create single line comment here also so i will just click here just before the closing angle bracket and just enter here and you can create a single line comment and multi line comment here also i will just say here called method right it's very simple and just save my document and you will get the same result so i hope you understand how to create a method in react component class if you have any question you can ask me in the comment Answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to understand this topic more easily. That is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.